video. So I have some very exciting news. Obviously, you can already tell by the title. I'm going on another Bahamas cruise. And this video, we're going to be doing a bunch of packing and prepping for it. I wasn't originally going to make a whole little cruise series because I feel like I already have so many on my channel. A lot of you guys actually like the cruise videos and like seeing it and everything. So I thought I would vlog at least a little bit of it. I'm not sure how much I'm going to. Just because I feel like I'm always stressed about filming instead of like enjoying the moment. But we'll see. Today, it is currently... Currently August 8th, so Thursday, and our cruise isn't until August 18th. So I'm gonna be taking you guys along with me throughout the next days until the cruise while I'm getting all my stuff prepped and packing all my luggage and just getting everything ready for this trip. So a little bit about this trip. We were supposed to go on this cruise in May, but we had some scheduling conflict with Alexis' internship, so we moved it until August. And originally it was supposed to be me, Andrew, Alexa, her boyfriend Ish, and my parents but they ended up not being able to move their cruise. So now it's just me, Andrew, Alexa, and Ish. And I'm really excited. This is the first cruise that I'm going on without my parents. And it just feels illegal to me. But we're all super excited because it's the first time we're all going to cruise together alone. So that's a little bit about the trip. Today, I have a mission of going to Target and getting a couple things. I wrote down a list of everything that I need to pack and all the stuff that I still need to buy. I pretty much have everything. I don't want to go too crazy with like buying things. I already have most of my toiletries i'm probably just gonna pack a lot of things into some like travel size bottles i already have stuff that i need for my beach bag like i already have books i'm gonna bring i have sunscreen i have tanning oil things i definitely want to look for are some sandals i really want a new pair of sandals i haven't bought sandals in like two years and i also want to see if they have any like last minute summer clothes i really want to look for a white beach cover up and then i am gonna look through some beauty products and travel size stuff just in case i need any small things but I probably won't need that much. So yeah, that's the plan. I'm also gonna be ordering some little things from Amazon and then I'll give you a haul of everything from there. But the goal is not to go crazy with like buying a whole bunch of things because I really don't need a lot. I'm gonna do my makeup and we're gonna head to Target after. Finally ready to go to Target. This might not have been the best outfit choice because it's actually really hot and humid outside. I'm gonna be really tempted to get fall stuff because I think they already have it out, but I shouldn't do that. We made it into Target, and the beach section is kind of empty. I hate vlogging in public. I'm gonna try and be strong for you guys. Honestly, I don't really know what I'm looking for. I wanted to see if I could find a cover-up, like a cute one, for the Bahamas Day. Good cover-up dress, maybe? I found one cover-up dress. It's long, but it has holes throughout it. And I kind of want something I can throw on, like when I'm walking around the ship and like going to the beach. I don't know if I want my booty cheeks all out and hanging out. It's a cute candidate though, so I'm gonna throw it in the cart for now. Guys, should I get a hat? This is cute. It is now Friday, August 16th. So that means the cruise is in two days. This week I didn't really prep much at all other than do a little bit of shopping and get a few last minute things. So I'm just gonna give you guys a haul of all the things that I've collected this week for this trip. I'm gonna start off with Target since we went together and I didn't end up showing you guys what I got that day. Also, sorry if you guys can hear the bugs, like the cicadas or whatever bugs that are so freaking loud. I feel like every time I vlog, they just wanna scream and be annoying. But my room is like right next to this big tree. So that's probably why you guys can hear that. But it's so annoying. They literally won't shut up all day, every day. But I ended up finding two pairs of sandals, which I was really happy about. So first I got these white pair of sandals. Just because I don't have a white pair and I feel like it would be really good to match with literally anything. Then I got these really cute little beige and cream sandals. And these ones were in clearance for only like $13. So that was nice. Next I got some hair products. I got everything full size just because I feel like travel size would not be enough for my hair because I use so much product on it like every day. And I got some shampoo and conditioner. I like the head and shoulders shampoo because I just feel like it really cleanses my scalp. So I got this one and it's supposed to be 24 hour frizz control. 
natural from root to tip and then i got this l'oreal deep nourish conditioner i've never tried this before i kind of just picked out the first thing i saw because i was tired of looking at hair products and then i got the curl talk curling mousse from the not your mother's brand i've heard a lot of good things about this I usually use the one from shea moisture but i just wanted to try something different and then i got a pink loofah and i got some cotton rounds for when i need to wash my face or take off my makeup i got some more sunscreen this is just the hawaiian tropic sheer touch sunscreen i got this tied to go stick i just feel like this is a must have like in case i stain anything then these last two things i already opened but i got the mighty patch micro point for blemishes these are the patches that have like the micro needles i started getting this really deep pimple so i've been using these the past two days to try and fix it these are for the early stage pimples and this one's also opened already i just got some more contact solution so that's everything i got from target and then my mom also went to walmart i got a couple things that i realized i didn't get from target that i'll probably need for this trip first i got some makeup wipes i ran out of them this week so i just restocked i don't really use makeup wipes all the time but they're really good for like before i wash my face especially if i'm tired and i feel like it'll just be good to bring on the trip just in case and then i got some baby oil i got a full size one just to keep because i ran out and i got a mini travel size one that i'm gonna bring i love baby oil to shave with i just feel like it glides so smoothly and it leaves your skin feeling really nice and soft and then to go with that i got some more eos shave cream i have the full size one right now but i wanted a mini one i thought this was so cute i didn't even know that they had like a mini size of that and then i got some mouthwash kind of boring but i feel like it's good to bring and then lastly i got some snacks because you won't catch me going anywhere without some snacks i got some chocolate I got the Dove Dark Chocolate and Sea Salt Caramel. I've never had these, but they just look good. And then I got Angie's Favorite Chips and My Favorite Chips. You're allowed to bring like unopened drinks and snacks and food onto a cruise. The cruise has so much food everywhere, but sometimes at night, I end up craving like something sweet or something salty. Like whenever I'm in my room and it's like way too late to like actually go out and find something. So me and Alexa always bring snacks. And then I wanna show you guys some of the other stuff I ordered online. I wanted another pair of white linen pants so i ordered a cute pair from hollister i love wearing white pants whenever i go on a cruise or a beach trip i just feel like they look so cute with a linen shirt and a swimsuit so these ones are the linen blend wide leg pants i got these in a size medium and i got them in a long size and i feel like for whenever i get long sizes i'm not really tall enough sometimes like sometimes they're super long but these ones are like the perfect length which is like a good thing and a bad thing because i thought they would be like a little bit longer which i like i hope they don't shrink and i feel like i'm not even that tall so like whoever's taller than 5'7 i feel like these would be like high waters on i was just a little bit disappointed in these but i think as long as i don't shrink them they'll be fine and then from amazon i really wanted some new beach cover-ups found this white maxi dress cover-up it's like crocheted or mesh and it's really long and then it has like two slits at the side so cute i'm so happy that i got this because it had like no reviews so i was kind of nervous it looks really cute i'm not gonna try it on now but you guys will probably see in the vlog and then i actually ordered another one but i didn't open it because i realized i only probably need one extra not two so this one was also really cute and i was also very nervous about this because i didn't really have many reviews on the amazon seller but this cover-up is like a short dress and it looks weird like when i'm holding it but it's kind of supposed to be like a halter top it's like backless and it's really cute online like on the picture but i don't know if i need to bring it or not so i'll just figure that out later i told alexa that she can probably use it if she wants but i don't know if it's gonna fit her because she's usually a size small the very last thing i ordered from amazon are these arm cuffs i already opened them because i was just too excited but i tried this one on last night i'm gonna put it on right now but it's not gonna look right because i'm not wearing the right outfit i feel like it looks so dumb like me wearing it like this right now i kind of want to wear one for formal night which is like the fancy dinner nights on the cruise ship so i'm gonna bring a couple of these and ask alexa if she wants any so that's everything i got for the cruise hopefully i don't need to get anything else i'm pretty sure i have everything i need really oh my god i forgot these last two things i got these definitely aren't an essential but i thought they were so cute i got a pair of little starfish earrings and then i also got this really cute starfish necklace and then it has a little pearl next to it these are so pretty i just thought they were the cutest little accessories for a tropical vacation so now that is everything that i got i feel like it just yapped for like 
an hour, but today's focus, I really want to pick out the outfits I'm gonna wear. I already started laying out some of the clothes that I wanted to bring. I have a huge pile here, and then I have all my swimsuits that I need to pick from. Most of this stuff is from Princess Polly. I just did a haul with them a couple days ago, so it was really helpful having all that stuff already out. I'm definitely gonna bring a lot of dresses. I need to bring a lot of shorts, some loungewear outfits, and also pick out the swimsuits I have. I feel like I have so many, but I always end up wearing like the same ones. I don't know if I've said this already, but I genuinely hate packing packing so much. I think it's a miserable experience. I always end up overthinking and then I always end up panicking. And it doesn't help that my closet is an absolute mess. I definitely need to do a deep clean soon because there's so much clutter everywhere. So I'm gonna look through all my clothes in here, try and pick out what I wanna wear. This is definitely going to stress me out. So I'm going to turn on my TV and watch a show while I do this. Emily in Paris just came out a couple days ago and I'm already on episode three. So I'm gonna watch this. If you guys haven't watched it, I recommend it. I think it's so good. Emily's low-key kind of annoying, but I also like her character at the same time. So it's been a couple hours. Here's a big pile of clothes. I also have like random stuff around it, but this is the majority of everything that I wanna bring for the trip. So starting at the bottom here, I have all of my swimsuits laid out. I'm only bringing five of them, but I doubt I'm gonna even wear all of them because I feel like I always bring so many swimsuits and I don't wear every one of them. So I picked out a couple from my little collection here. And then over here, I have my sleepwear and then some loungewear. I always end up needing a sweatshirt and a pair of sweatpants. I might even bring another pair of sweatpants pants and then over here i'm bringing four different linen oversized shirts that are so cute to wear with white linen pants or with shorts i'm probably gonna wear these over my bikinis they're just so easy to like wear around the ship and then next to that i have all of my beach cover-ups I have two from Princess Polly, the one from Amazon that I showed you guys. And then these two piles right here are a bunch of dresses I'm bringing. I'm bringing so many. One over here has a bunch of casual dresses, white dress for like the white night. And then I also have like a tropical dress for tropical night. And these ones I have here are for the formal night, which are kind of like dressier dresses. And then in this pile, I have the pants I'm bringing. So I'm bringing two pairs of white pants and then this like cream colored pants. And then in this pile, I have all of my shorts. So I have some like loose fitting ones and then the rest are denim shorts. And then in these two piles are a bunch of tank tops and shirts. I have my Alpha Elite sports bras that I like to wear at nighttime. And then over here are two long maxi skirts. So that's all the stuff that I have for now. I'm happy that I picked out most of the clothes. I still have to pick out my gym clothes. And then I have a couple other things that are in the wash right now or needs to be washed. I'm also doing loads of laundry. But I don't want to pack anything into my packing cubes until tomorrow. I just want to have everything set out so I can visualize like everything I'm going to wear. Honestly, this is enough to last me throughout the week I think but I'm still gonna add a couple more things because I feel like whenever I'm on the ship I always feel like I didn't bring enough clothes so I'm happy I have most of the clothes picked out I was also like going through all this with my mom I could have another opinion on whether I should bring certain things or not but I think I need to take a break because this kind of stressed me out I get stressed out so easily happy Saturday it is officially one day before the cruise last night I just finished all of my clothes stuff my room is an absolute disaster. There's clothes everywhere, but I finished choosing all of the clothes that I want to bring. I already have the ones that I showed you guys yesterday, and then I also picked out my gym outfits, and then like underwear and socks and bras and stuff, and I finished all my laundry, so I'm fully complete with the clothes part. The next problem for that is going to be like, how am I going to fit all this into my suitcase? There's so much clothes. To fit in a suitcase. Right now it's 10 25 a.m. and me and Alex are gonna go to the gym and just to get that out of the way for today. And then when I come back, I have a lot of things to do. I have to obviously pack my luggages and then I have to pick out all of my makeup products, my skin products. I already basically have all my hair products. And then I also need to paint my nails and I also need to wash my makeup brushes, which is something I should have done yesterday, but I was just not in the mood to do it. But first things first is the gym. And then when I get back here, I have a lot to deal with. I'm finally back home. Somehow it's already 3 p.m. I feel very stressed out right now. 
and annoyed that it's already 3 p.m. I just took a shower and I did my everything shower. I shaved, I exfoliated, I washed my hair, I oiled up and lotioned everywhere, so I feel really nice. Now it's time to finish packing. I think right now I want to go ahead and start packing up all of my beauty products, like my hair care and body care things. So for all my beauty things, I'm gonna pack everything in these little bags. I use this in my last pack and prep with me. I use it every time I travel. It's like a little collapsible bag. I already have like some travel stuff in here, but it's really helpful to just have all your stuff in this. And then whenever you get somewhere, like you can just hang it up and it's all in one place. So I usually always put like in care and body care stuff in this this is from amazon i already have it linked in my storefront if you guys want to get something like this it's actually so useful and i use it literally every single time i travel and then i have these cute little pink floral bags these are from tiktok shop i'm pretty sure andrew got these for me for my birthday and it comes in three different sizes so i have like a bigger one a small like pencil pouch shape and then this one is like a bigger collapsible one so i'm gonna decide which products should go in which bag i also have a checklist on my phone so that i don't forget anything when I pack because I always end up forgetting at least one thing so it's really helpful to write everything down. guys a little packing update this bag right here i packed up all of my hair stuff and shower things so i have like my loofah my shampoo and conditioner my hair products all of that in here and then in this i packed up majority of my skincare and like oral care things got a little bit messy i have all of my skincare essentials stuff to wash my face I have mouthwash, contact solution. I filled up a bottle with aloe. I have toothpaste, all that stuff. Basically like everything I'll need in the beginning of the day and before I go to bed. And in this little pocket here, I have some more travel essentials. I have like a little lotion, some fashion tape, a tight to go stick, extra contacts. Cause I feel like whenever you travel and if you wear contacts, you should always have a backup pair of contacts and also glasses. And then my Invisalign and an extra set of Invisalign. So that's pretty much all that's in here. These bags fit so much. And then over here, I'm bringing this little curling wand. Guys, if you have curly hair, this is such a lifesaver for like second day hair and the days that you need to touch up your hair. I don't use this every day, but like for the times that my hair gets really flat or I just want to touch up some of the curls if they look a little too crazy, I'll use this. And you got this for me, I think from TikTok shop and the brand is Wavy Talk, but the barrel is so tiny and it matches with my curl pattern perfectly. So if you have hair similar to mine, you should really get that because it helps so much. I'm bringing this and I'm not trying to bring anything to straighten my hair. I'm trying to leave it early the whole trip and then over here i have my glasses some hair stuff that i'm thinking about bringing all of my jewelry that i'm definitely bringing and then i started picking out some of my makeup brushes that i need to bring these are very dirty and i'm starting to break out my cheeks and i don't know if it's hormonal or if it's from not washing these so i'm gonna give these a good wash tonight and hopefully it'll dry in time i think i'm gonna do that next just to make sure it dries before because i don't want them to be all soggy and wet so that's all i've packed so far the next things i do need to pack up is my makeup but i'm probably gonna do that after this and then I also sorted out all of my electronic stuff that I need to bring.
I've been dreading this so much, but now it's finally time to start packing up my actual luggage. The options that I have here is to either take these two, I have a small one and a medium one. And I'm also bringing a duffel bag to carry around. And the second option is to only bring this big one. But this one is actually huge. Like I think it would take up way too much room in the car. We're only trying to take one car. I think for now, I really want to try to only use these two luggage. This one can hold most of my clothes and then this one will be for all of my like beauty products and hair care stuff and like swim stuff maybe. I still have all my clothes laid out and I'm going to start packing them in my packing cubes. These are the same packing cubes that I had last year. I got these from Amazon. These are all in my Amazon storefront. I love these packing cubes. I think they're so helpful. These help so much with like compressing everything down and making things fit. I think I might be finished packing. It's been, I think like four hours. It's like 9 p.m. right now. I don't even know the last time I vlogged. I've been rearranging my suitcases this whole time. Like I've been going insane. So that's how it looks right now. This has all of my clothes. And then this luggage has all my like skincare, beauty care, shoes, miscellaneous things. This pile right here are old clothes I originally had, but Alexa helped me sort through and pick out stuff that I don't really need. And then those two things over there are my luggage covers. I got them from Amazon. I think they're also already linked to my storefront. They're super helpful when traveling to not get your luggage all messed up because I'm checking in, I think probably both of these bags and it'll probably get scuffs if I don't put those on. Later tonight or tomorrow morning, I'm gonna put those on, but I feel like I just don't wanna close it yet because I don't know if I still need to put stuff or take stuff out. And then on my bed here, I have my carry-on stuff. This is like all my valuable stuff that I don't trust being in there. So that's what I've been doing these past couple hours and I'm over it. I'm literally so over it. I already went through my checklist and I think I have everything. Honestly, I probably have already more than I need, but oh well. I think the last thing I wanna do tonight is my nails so i'm trying to give my nails a break i honestly think i damaged them because i went too crazy with the nail drill and to like prep my nails i think i just filed them down way too much and they've been struggling to grow which has never happened to me but i think i'm just gonna paint them red with regular nail polish i'm not really a fan of regular nail polish but i don't want to put on any tips i don't want to put on any gel and i don't want to put on any like fake nails period i'm going to paint my nails <laughs> That's like the only beauty related thing I'm probably gonna do tonight. Here are the nails. I'm kind of embarrassed to show you guys because they're just nubs. My fingernails are so short. <sighs> but there's nothing I can do about it. Probably also gonna bring this with me on the trip because I know that this nail polish is not gonna last. And I already did my toenails a uh, gel red color a week or two ago, so I don't need to redo them yet. Anyways, that's it for this vlog. It's already 11.39. I just took another shower because I was sweating. We tested the trunk of the car to see if it would hold all the luggage and it only fit two because they're hard shell and we're all bringing hard shell and Andrew's bringing such a big luggage and I think so is Ish, Alex's boyfriend. So now we're gonna have to take two cars which kind of sucks because it's more money to like park a whole nother car there it's just more work bringing two cars instead of just riding together but after you go to bed we're gonna wake up super early i think we're gonna try and leave around six so i need to get my rest i'm probably gonna be driving my car so wish me luck for tomorrow on this car ride stay tuned for the upcoming cruise vlogs there you know we're gonna have so much fun thank you guys for watching i'm gonna go to bed now